Welcome to the TaxWise Learning Portal. This lesson covers the process for uploading your EFIN via the TaxWise support site. When you purchase TaxWise, Walters Kluwer assigns your account a dummy EFIN. In order for you to be able to e-file using TaxWise, you will need to upload your IRS issued EFIN to your account via the Solution Center. The URL for the Solution Center is support.taxwise.com. From the My Information menu, select Submit My EFIN Information. If you are not currently logged into the Solutions Center, you will be directed to the login screen. Enter your client ID, username admin, and current password. If you are a TaxWise online user, this is the same password as your admin credentials. If this is the first time you are accessing the support site, your password will be the registration code you received via email. Once you have entered your credentials, select the user verification checkbox and click login. This will direct you to the EFIN information page. You will see the current EFIN on the account. If the EFIN you see here is already the IRS issued EFIN, there is nothing further for you to do. If, however, this is the temporary EFIN issued by TaxWise and not your IRS issued EFIN number, click the Submit New EFIN button. Displayed, you will see the license agreement. Select the I agree checkbox and then sign using the email address on the account. Once you enter the correct email address, you will be directed to the Submit New EFIN screen. Enter your IRS issued EFIN along with the name of the EFIN holder. You must attach a copy of the IRS EFIN letter here. So click the Choose File button, navigate to the location of the document, and once you have located and selected the document, click Open. Once back on the Submit New EFIN page, verify that the document is attached and click Submit. This returns you to the EFIN information page where you now see the date and timestamp of your submission. Give the system an hour to update your new EFIN. The system will generate a new registration code. If you are a desktop user, you will need this information to register or re-register your software. You will receive an email containing your updated codes for your software. The email will come from customer.service at cchsfs.com and the subject line on this email will read unlock code. An alternative way of accessing the updated registration code is from the downloads menu and then selecting TaxWise software. On the TaxWise software download page, you will see the registration code. The last four or eight digits of the original registration code would have changed. Make a note of this number as you may need it. If you're a TaxWise desktop user, you will need it to register or re-register your software via the Setup Assistant and then connect to update partner verification. Once you upload your IRS issued EFIN, the system generates a new registration code that you will need as a TaxWise desktop user to register your software, as this will enable your ability to e-file assuming all other requirements were met. To register your software, you're going to log into TaxWise Desktop as the admin user. From the Tools menu, select Utility Setup Assistant. From the Utility dialog box, click the Setup menu and select Setup Assistant. TaxWise displays the Setup Assistant dialog box. On the Register Software tab, Enter your IRS issued EFIN in the appropriate field. Next, enter your updated software registration code in the space provided and click Register Code. TaxWise displays your client ID and the validation result. Next, click the Partner Verification tab and select Refresh Data. TaxWise will connect to the Electronic Filing Center or EFC and download the most current partner verification data. Click Close. Displayed on the partner verification page, you will see the updated partner information. Click Save and Close to exit. 
This concludes the lesson on updating your EFIN to your TaxWise account via the TaxWise Solution Center. For additional information on TaxWise Online, review the corresponding lessons that are part of the TaxWise Learning Portal.